Excuse me. I need some information on a patient. Jessica? What are you doing here? Excuse me, I have a patient. Okay. What are you doing here? M my parents wanted me to do a follow-up with Marty, so, um, yeah. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm on a case. Christian and Layla's roommate, Robert Ford, got attacked last night in their apartment. Yeah, I, I heard about that. How is he? Still in surgery. Do you know who did it? Oh, we're still investigating. Why, do you know him? Stay away from me! Just Get away from me! Oh, yes, Get away from me! I have to tell you something. You think I'm capable of murder? Last night, after Paul... Hey, Jess. How you doing? Fine, how are you? Well, not, not so great since we found Ford, but I hear you're doing a lot better. I brought Christian and Layla up to speed about you getting your memory back. Good. <laughs> any news on Ford? He's still in the OR. But he'll pull through, right? Well, the surgeon wasn't making any promises. Somebody really wants to work on him. It. It's not surprising, considering. What do you mean? Well, let's just say he's known for taking advantage of much younger women. And one of them probably snapped. He finally got what he deserved. We just got a warrant to search Marco Rivero's apartment. Can you get on it? I'm on my way. I gotta go. Can I ask you something first? Um, what what's gonna happen to whoever attacked Ford? Depends if he makes it. And if he doesn't? 25 to life, if they're lucky. What do you mean? It's a capital offense. They could get the needle. Anyway, you were gonna tell me something earlier. Just, um, just that, um, I'm not gonna let anything take me away from you and Bree ever, ever, ever again. Well, you just take it easy. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fine. Okay. See you later. Uh, Brody had to go. Mm -hmm. Uh, about last night and, uh, about the last couple Love, of don't, months, Don't I... worry about it. I'm just glad you're back to normal. Uh, I'll bet. It wasn't so bad. But I am sorry I came down on you so hard at prom. Oh, please. I was so out of line. Well, look, when people aren't themselves, they, they do things they normally wouldn't do. That's what I'm afraid of. You know what I don't get? Down the sign-up sheet for the tech crew. <laughs> That's why nobody showed up. Yeah, because I took it down before anybody saw it. <laughs> Such a loser. No, no. A schemer, maybe. And then I got paint all over your clothes. Oh, come on, Jess. Don't you know me? All my clothes have paint on them. I'm just... I'm really embarrassed, it's and okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I don't know if Layla's gonna forgive me that easily. Well, I happen to know that Layla is in a pretty generous mood. Well, come on. You know, we kind of got into it at prom, and then she took off. Right, and I ran after her and proposed. <gasps> and she said yes? Oh! I knew she would. Oh, it's so great. You saw us? I'm ashamed to admit that I was spying on you, too. Well, I didn't see you. Yeah, because I ran off and had a tantrum all over Brody. Well, at least it didn't last too long. I mean, that was the same night you got your memory back, right? Wait, did seeing me propose to Layla have anything to do with your recovery? So you're saying that... I don't know, maybe the shock of seeing me propose to Layla, maybe that shook something loose. Maybe. Um, all I know is I have my memories back, and your patience and kindness was a big part of that. Hmm. Um, other than that, I, I don't really know why, but um, I'm just happy to be myself again. And so is the faculty at Lambie High. I'm never going to live this down. <laughs> I got to go. Layla's waiting for uh, an update on Ford. Can you please tell her that I'm honestly really, really happy for her? I will. Okay. And Jess, in case you're wondering, you know, these last couple of months, you're thinking that you're in high school. They made me look back, and that was a really great time. I'm glad I shared it with you. Me too. Bye. Oh, uh, by the way, you flunked art. Ah, uh, nuts. <laughs> Hi. I'm a reporter for The Sun. I was hoping I could get some information on a patient. 
Marco, just please hear me 